What's up guys, it's your boy Zawolki, back out with another Zawolki video, but today we're looking at a different side of, not the haunted, but the paranormal community, as you will. I, myself, was not going to get it on in this, but hundreds of you guys have been asking, plus my For You page for the video video, or the videos that pop up to say, hey, would you like to watch this? It's been nothing but the Conjuring drama and an update and so forth with the woman that's it's it's bad juju okay um <laughs> uh we're gonna be actually watching jason hawes video um which i definitely do love jason hawes um and the whole ghost thing he pretty much is the reason why i got into ghost hunting ghost paranormal research looking into all of his videos that he posted way back in the 2008 era um in the beginning of the 2000 era so I definitely want to see more about this uh, Conjuring House drama. Um, I've been watching snippets here and there from Jay Cards, which is another great channel. Um, link is in the description. You guys can go over there and subscribe and give him love. Um, I'd definitely love to uh, have a live conversation with Jay Cards. Maybe we'll make that happen. But with that being said, I want to put my two cents in on this and see what Jason Hawes has to say as well. Go over to his channel. Give him some love. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. This man has been a big part of the paranormal community, and we definitely want to give him love. But again, like on my channel, make sure you guys are subscribed by hitting that wiper icon down the bottom right or bottom left now. Or right, kind of in the middle. It's it's somewhere, but it's white. It's not red anymore. <laughs> but make sure you guys hit the bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little ring notification that I've posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And with that being said, let's get into his video. Hello to everyone out there. Hopefully you're having a great Friday. I'm having a very interesting one. It's, it's actually been me. a rather interesting week. So I know a lot of you know what's been going on with the Conjuring House and all the drama over there, um, the chaos that's been happening with the owner and the crazy random posts you, know, you can see and the constant edits to those posts. So a few days ago, I randomly started getting texts, and I'm not going to show those texts. I'm going to show some texts, but not those texts, because those texts were the most vile, disgusting texts I have ever in my life received, to the point where I had to take them and turn them over and you know, file paperwork, because I've never, I mean, it, wow. Okay, so okay, those are turned over. Than I thought. And there was a, a tr no trespass order and stuff put out there. Actually, I just received another text from her. She just sent me another text. So we're going to get into that one too. What She's fuck? been sending me texts all freaking morning. Okay, so I I'm going to show you some texts. I'm going to show you today. So again, the text she sent the other day, I'm not going to show for legal purposes. And... Oh, but I'm going to show you what has been going on today. Oh, Jesus Let me Christ. just read this one real quick before I go any further here. Because I need to know what the hell else has been said. I feel like ever since Sam and Colby had brought um, his Jason Hawes daughter. And I'm not blaming Jason's daughter at all again. But ever since that whole situation with that. And the buying of the new or the owners buying this house and so forth. The whole legacy of the Conjuring House and the history about it has just seemed like it's plummeted. Where we wanted to investigate the this house and then things went down that way and it's just been a mess. And I'm not blaming Sam and Kobe, nor am I blaming anybody. It just seems that that moment afterwards with all the drama talk and everything, things just went downhill. But again, it's not Sam and Kobe's fault. It's not um, Jason Hawes daughter's fault. Um, but it might be the owner's fault is what I'm hearing. So again, that's not my opinion. I'm just watching and reacting and so forth like that. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, it just goes and goes and goes. I mean, they are novels. They are literally novels. Let me see. Holy they, crap. they start and they just go and go and go. And it's the most crazy Thing you've ever seen. I mean, the list goes on and on. So, 
Here we go. Let's show these. So today, at 1.23 in the morning, I received this. 1.23 in the afternoon, the sorry. French words. I'm told that words. it is you that continues to F with my life. How does a high school graduate plumber, has been paranormal celebrity, uh, think that somehow he has all of this power or even the legal right to do so? That is interesting. It is. I am told that you are using black magic. If true, the thing about black magic, Jason. Is I have never known Jason to be in any of that stuff. He's there to debug and find out the truth. I would never even a million years think that he was trying to put himself into something black magic or darkness. That What the fuck is this? It always demands the unjust return. When you make a deal with demons... They always want your life in return. I read that in a, what, an article about the 52 demons who influence people to do and incite terrible things to happen to humanity, animals, in our environment. Okay? Okay. It goes on. Hang on. F you, strong letter to follow. She then sends me this deal with the devil thing. Here's my first Google search result. All these articles she's listing for diabolical diabolical favors, which vary by the tale, but tend to include <laughs> youth, knowledge, Jason wealth, Bottom. fame, and power. Most random text out there. So I respond. Because, I mean, whatever. I got to figure out what the hell's going on here. I say, you have some issues. You've decided to attack me time and time again. I have been understanding. Your last text to me have changed that. What I'm referring to are the texts she sent me days ago, which were... So vile and disgusting that I think, you know, to a point, you, you get to the point where even that peace in your heart that you hope for somebody's well-being just goes away when they say certain things or go to certain, certain things. Uh, so anyways, I have been understanding your last texts have changed that. I promise you, I'm not the guy you want to push any further, Jacqueline. Of course, so she responds. Boom. F you, strong letter to follow, which is her common thing. Strong letter to follow, and I am Jacqueline Nunez, owner of The Conjuring House, and all this stuff. I know everything, including you showing up at 2.30 a.m. to kill me. What? I am not the least bit afraid of you. Get an F in line, Jason. I am being assured that you will be prosecuted. Keep it up, because the counts on attempted murder are still ticking up. Um, okay. My only serious issues are, let me scroll up here for you. I've never even would have thought this was that bad. All right. So my only serious issues are you, Satori, Cody, Reed, Jen, and Corey Heinzman attacking me personally and trying to incite violence against me. I have done nothing to you. I have done nothing to any of you. Who are the insane ones here? Time will tell, Jason. I have very powerful people at my back protecting me. You'll see. You have no idea how many people have been recording your psychic torture sessions and keeping text messages. People have infiltrated your insane efforts and violent... Your insane... <laughs> okay. People have infiltrated your insane efforts and violent conversations, including capturing video like I have. At some point, Rhode Island and the town of Burrowville will act to bring you to justice. Once again, F you, strong letter to follow. Okay. So, and then, yeah, strong letter to follow, Jason F. and Howells. Doesn't even spell my name right on that one. So, um, I had to respond again, of course. So, I say, you truly have lost it. Your random text accusations and public posts have shown the world your true colors. You are a danger to yourself and more worrisome others. I would never want you to fear me, Jacqueline, but I plan to make sure you know who I can be when pushed to a point. Because again, you can only take so, so much when it comes down to attacks or claims. And it's not like he's like, oh, if you come at me sideways, Jacqueline, I'm going to beat you up. No, he's saying like, like he's probably got lawyers and, and uh, all his um, team behind him and so forth. So... He's not looking to like threaten her. 
nor where I would have seen that Jason would be physical. Like, come on. Claims and, you know, accusations, um, vile, vile texts. I mean, eventually you just, you know, like, you know, I'm done. Whatever. Whatever happens, happens. So he's not death threatening you. He's just saying legally do not push him. He's got lawyers. He's got probably law people at his side. I mean, what is this? <laughs> and of course she says, I will take this as the death threat you intended it to be. I will send this to Burrowville and let's see. I repeat, what have I done or even posted Jason to warrant such hatred? Just because you are not in the know does not mean any of these things that you paint me as. Besides, that video with you in the truck says everything, now doesn't it? How am I a danger to myself? Are those more death threats? Keep talking, Jason. What? Okay. It's not a this death threat. It's like full circle. It's crazy. It just keeps on going Holy and going and going. Crapola. So I respond because... Nothing that I've seen so far that Jason has done has been anything more of defending himself, not being... Like, I don't see any death threats, no terroristic threat, none of that I've seen at all from Jason. So what is she doing? Yeah, I wanted to. <laughs> I mean, you can only take so much. So, so much I state, in the, world. the person in the truck posted their information and proof it was them. I have never threatened you, nor would I ever. Again, you are a danger to yourself and others. You truly need help. I say this from the heart. No matter how much crazy stuff you've thrown at me, I still want the best for you. You need to stop making crazy claims, accusations, and threats. You have pushed away and attacked everyone who cares and has cared for you. So then this is where she, she makes this other claim. So even though the person came on the post, posted their information, gave me their receipt, the timestamps of when they were there, has all, the all this stuff. Supposedly, it was still me. I was there, according to her, to assassinate her. What? And I do want to get into why that, even beyond the claim of that, why that is such a major, and I mean major, situation. All right, so she says, I am told facial recognition software was used to determine that it was you. That will end up, that will be up to your defense team to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you and others have, have not committed thousands of crimes against me and other innocent people who, like me, did nothing to harm you or your fellow assassins what? trained under a terrorist interrogation tactical handbook. Read that one again slowly. Um, um. Your fellow assassin... Assassins trained under a terrorist interrogation tactical handbook. I have been told by numerous sources. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but He's laughing I, he knows I have to on that is. one. I okay. Uh, no, <laughs> okay. Now I will take snapshots of this final text exchange, and the evidence will lead to a just result over time. I will not stop posting as I am instructed to inform the public on every important matter facing our country and other countries. Send this last text exchange to your defense attorney if you can find one. F you, strong letter to follow. Okay. So, I responded. Now you use facial a, recognition. Now he's being a smarty. He's being... Because <laughs> he knows how dumb this is. Holy crap. Here, I thought I was going to go to the Conjuring house in a couple years and... I was going to try to get a spot to go in, like interrogate or not interrogate, but um, to ghost investigate. Now it sounds like I can't. Oh gosh. Ah, uh, damn. You How me. will I ever get out of this one? I guess I'll have to go back into hiding because recently she sent a message to others saying that she had heard I was in hiding. So I couldn't be arrested because there was a cell waiting for me. He's right here. So I said, seems like you, you just, checkmated me 
You're just too smart for the likes of me. I'm just an average guy with no psychic powers. I can't compete with you and hundreds of ghost friends giving you secret information. Could the house be affecting her? So I, you just, you get left in a situation where you don't even know how to respond to these. And, um, I mean, and she's still texting me. It's still going off. Oh so, my gosh, uh, what the? Yeah. Can you block it? Let's see. Or this block her, you next block text her. message that I just received. It says, from Jacqueline, now that you say that, perhaps you are correct. We shall see. All I said is that I was told, you idiot that facial recognition was used on the guy who I said looks like Jason Hawes. We shall see about that too, won't we? What the, crap? the sad thing is, as I am told, the U.S. administration or my purported friend, friend named Jennifer, why would the U.S. do that? What has weaponized the paranormal community to eat its own? What? do they have to fear from an educated citizenry and other residents regarding the laws of the cosmos? Is this person using AI chat or like an AI to put in like F you this, this, and then it types its own because it literally doesn't make sense. Stop torturing me and others and contemplate these questions. Instead, here is your cheat sheet. Oh, she's giving me a cheat sheet. That's oh. good. That's good. It's because the wealthy and the influential elites have always understood the laws governing our cosmos, and they have controlled the rest of us for centuries. So if it's the mass, so if the masses understand, then these elites lose much power and control over our lives. I'm going to post this in here just so you guys can see it. While the above is true, I suspect that Jennifer is also terrorizing and influencing good people sponsored by some country or other powerful organizations. Maybe you can figure that one out. You do not know who I am yet, but it will synthesize for you when the entire story unfolds. I am not sure when. I leave you with this. I was chosen to own the Conjuring House. People recognized that when I bought it which I think we can go back to a past video. I'm not sure if that's accurate because you put a lien on a property that you didn't own to force people into selling it to you. But and people can see that in the video where I interviewed seven people who resigned that then you attacked online and claimed that you fired them for all these different reasons. But this goes on. We are experiencing disclosure events that are happening through me and TCH. I do not really give a F what you personally think of me as long as you and others are not hosting Facebook and YouTube lives or posting or inciting violence on other social media platforms to attack and even kill me. I can deeply, I care deeply about the business TCH and my staff, then you might want to pay them because there's people there right now who you still owe a shitload of money to. There's people that you fired because you owed a shitload of money to them. So if you care about your staff, pay your damn staff. Oh. You got people sitting there waiting for paychecks and you're telling them Venmo and all these other things don't work, which is blatant lies. So don't tell me you care about your staff when you're screwing over your staff and you screwed over your past staff. Anyways. I will consider any continued texts or other means of communication as further harassment. I believe you texted me. <laughs> you sent the text to me. I haven't texted you. I responded, but you sent text to me. So I have done nothing to threaten you she, or anyone. Still doing it. I have done nothing to slander any particular person. I have done nothing but express my first amendment rights and post compelling foolproof evidence of the com continuity of consciousness. I will not stop posting disclosures about the truth as I keep being told about these truths. So just shut the F up about things you know nothing of. Do I really sound crazy, Jason? Yes. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yep. If, if that's a question, then 
Yeah, 100%. There's no question. You sound crazy. I am not. Not even close. Which I think is 100% what a crazy person would say. Yes. So, but anyways. If you wake up, Jason, perhaps you will fulfill your soul contract for a very special mission unfolding. F you, strong letter to follow. And that was the message that I got while we were sitting here talking. Oh, just wait, so, probably move more. Again, Ding! my concern for anybody who does any business over there, has an event, goes on a tour, goes on an overnight, is if there is an, a if there is a delusional state going on, and this person assumes like that person who was there for an overnight, who was driving the truck, who posted that it was them, uh, even though she's still claiming it was me, and she saw the post. Uh, if she assumes that somebody in that house is me, and that I'm there to do what she claims I'm trying to do, then what's to say that that she doesn't have a state where she goes and causes somebody in the house personal injury, serious harm, possible death resulting. I mean, these are serious concerns. I'm definitely so not going now. These people who are doing events there, these people who are doing overnights there, these people who are going for tours there need to seriously take into consideration that first off, again, there might not be anybody there when you show up. Oh. And secondly, you're endangering yourself. You're endangering others that you're bringing in. And yeah. So you just got to think bottom line. So when I, I'm totally for this whole boycott conjuring house thing, I, I'm a hundred percent because this person needs help. And by us still doing this and uh, us, you know, or people still doing events there and things like that, it's enabling. And it's also opening those people up to serious jeopardy, serious harm. And that's a major concern. So people need to step as far away from this place as possible and just get as far away from her as possible. We've tried to help. Numerous people have tried to help. They've tried to do everything they can. We all have. And what do we get in return? We get accused of attempted murder plots. Slander. We get accused of stealing. We get accused of uh, hacking accounts, creating bots. Um, everybody who posts comments in her posts are accused of being bots. Uh, and the what list goes the? on and on. So, and now supposedly all my friends are assassins. Uh, assassins. So, I mean, that'd be probably a cool bunch of people to hang out with. But anyways, in all seriousness, screen? this is frightening. This has nothing to do with her being possessed and or you know demonic entities this is a situation that has been amplified by you know medicating themselves certain ways and so uh crazy. i mean this is an ongoing issue and the community needs to come together and they need to just inform the world that that place is not safe that that person is not safe and anybody who does an event there is putting others in jeopardy. So it's time to cancel events. It's time to cancel Man, the fall the tours. It's house. time to cancel overnights. It's time to cancel the Conjuring House. And it's time to cancel Jacqueline Nunes. Bottom line. So make sure everybody knows this because it's for everybody's well-being. I don't want a situation where I find out in the news or I hear a police somebody report that somebody was permanently injured or, you know, or somebody was seriously maimed or anything because they went to this place and something happened. Wow. And this lady assumed that it was something else, or she ended up having an, an, an issue and flipping out on somebody. Oh, There's serious issues that, that are going on here. And, and I'm getting more text. I'm getting more text from her already. Put them so, up there, Jason. <laughs> it's just nonstop. You have to understand that going there is opening up your chance of of being seriously hurt or anybody you take there you're opening up a chance of them being seriously hurt great I can't so go really spread the word <laughs> let the world know that the place needs to be off limits it needs to be canceled because she needs to be handled she needs help she does 
and she's not going to get it as long as people still pay the money that she's taking in and not paying our employees, but using it for other means to keep this craziness going. So love for me to you guys, please spread the word, get it out there, warn everybody and, uh, just stay safe. Let's keep right. it real and on to the next. Well, there goes my plan of ever going to the Conjuring house. I, I mean, this was like the Taj Mahal back in the day of paranormalness. And now this woman, it seems like it's taken this out of proportion, demonetizing the whole Conjuring legacy and legend, as you will, with um, Bathsheba and all that stuff. But... <coughs> Like Jason says, you want to be protected. You want to be um, safe and so forth like that. So um, definitely don't make any um, future plans right now at the Conjuring House until that lady is gone. Uh, maybe the town can do something about it or the state. Take it. It shouldn't be owned by one person. It should be owned by some people that are actually going to keep this house a legend and not be this drop like any more or around 2024 2023 like drama has gone woo, like so high it's not even funny and of course stories news broadcastings uh social media thrive on the drama like drama 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 is what ensues everybody anymore um I definitely can continue watching stuff about this. If you guys want, let me know down in the comments. Um, hit the like button for my reaction, my commentating on Jason Hawes' explanation about boycotting the, the, the Conjuring home. Do you think he's right? Do you think he's wrong? I would surely love to hear you guys' explanation. Um, I looked at his comments, and it looks like a lot of people, like 99% are boycotting. The other 1% are like, in the middle. I don't think they're like defending her, but they're, they're in the middle where they're like, well, I don't want to lose the conjuring house as a paranormal place. Oh, who knows? I mean, there's a whole bunch of other places that are haunted, scary, possessed, whatever have you. So, um, please take care guys. Be safe as always. Keep nerding on. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep nerding on guys. Peace.